Okay, welcome to a day of catering. So anytime you come into this kitchen, you're going to come along over here and you're gonna grab yourself a chef hat and you're gonna put on an apron. The chef's hats are in here. You have a choice between your regular chef hat. We also have some other ones that are more fun variety and there's many drawers. Okay, and then there's these that are uh, more like a toque type variety. And then we've got the little beanie that sits on the top of your head like a little cap. So those are your choices of head coverings. The critical piece is all of your hair has to go up in the hat. So if you have really long hair, you gotta get it tied back and bunched into the top. That's why I keep my hair really, really short, so that it all kind of fits up in there. So that's the challenge. You can't have little wispies coming down off the side of your face. It all has to come up in the hat. So you get your hat on, you grab an apron, you've got hooks here and there, and over by the refrigerator that you can grab an apron from. All right, so you got your hat, you got your apron, and now it's time to ready to get your kitchen set up. So, underneath your sinks, you'll have a bleach bin, your sanitizing solution, bleach solution bottle, spray bottle. You should have a one teaspoon measuring spoon with a hook for your bleach, and then a jug of bleach. So what you will do to make your sanitizing solution is you will fill this with warm water. This line here indicates two gallons. Make sure your water is warm water, and then you're going to take and fill until it reaches the line. And that'll be your two gallons of warm water for your bleach solution. So the solution is two gallons of warm water, one teaspoon of bleach, and you'll check it with a test strip. So while it's running, you're going to take and pour about a teaspoon of bleach into this, and then you're gonna stir it. Then this is gonna go back underneath your sink because you do not want chemicals near your food. When you're ready to test your bleach water, you're going to come to this drawer. Look, it even says test strips, so you don't forget where it's at. And in here, there is multiple ones, so each kitchen can have a test strip. So then you will take this over to your uh, kitchen you're going to take only about an inch worth of this tape. So you tear off about that much. And you're going to test it to see if it matches 50 parts per million. All right, so you're going to take this test strip and you're going to put it down in the water and it should turn a light purple color that matches that 50 parts per million. And then you know that you've got your bleach solution ready to go. So now we have our bleach solution, we've tested it, it's the purple 50 parts per million. So now we're going to use this bleach solution to sanitize all of our surfaces. So get it in there, go And that should be enough for you to do your spraying. So what you want to do is you want to spray every single surface that you can think of that you might touch so that you know that if you touch there, it's been sanitized, your hands are gonna be clean, and so there's no worries. So, I tell people just literally spray down everything, and then your teammates, so one person can be the sprayer, and all your teammates can come with paper towel behind and wipe everything down. So here we go, you're gonna spray here. Maybe, there we go. Spray there. You're gonna to touch there, you're gonna to touch down here, and you might do those handles. You're gonna be working in this sink, so you're gonna to wanna to spray there if those handles that get yucky. You're gonna go all along here. Oh, you'll definitely touch down there. You'll be working on the surface, you're gonna to touch those handles for sure. Especially the microwave. Mm. You're gonna to touch that and those handles there. Okay, and definitely this surface all the way along. Okay, so then your teammates are gonna grab that paper towel 
and they're going to whoosh, 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 all the way and get it all dry. So dry, 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 dry. And you're just dry like a crazy person. Your kitchen is now sanitized. All right, so we've got hat apron, we've sanitized all of our surfaces, and so now it's time to cook, but we need to clean our hands. So there's a thing called the stop disease method of hand washing, and that's what I want you to follow. So you're going to turn on your hot water. It needs to be about 100 degrees. So if you think 100 degrees, that's probably like bathtub water. And you're going to wet your hands. You're going to get some soap. And you're going to scrub all your surfaces around your wrists. Palms is where a lot of people miss. In between your fingers, that's where a lot of people, especially right here, this is where people miss a lot. And you need to do this for 20 seconds so that you make sure that you get all of those germs out of there. You can sing the ABCs, that's about 20 seconds, or you can just count to 20. And then you just rinse that all off. Okay, you leave your water running, and you come and you get single-use paper towel. Okay, notice I've left the water running because you don't want to touch the handles with your wet hands. So then you're done and you can start cooking.